host Adele should play upon a Bobby Double Yay J, aka Bobby A.J. Jones. And today I will be coming at you with some more thought provoking content. This content right here, it may be highly controversial because I have been admonished. I has I have been forewarned not to speak upon this guy's name um, by this guy directly. Um, he said if I spoke upon his name again, it'll be problems. I don't give a fuck. I'm no stranger to danger. That's why they made me the park ranger. But um, I came across this video clip with none other than Munchie B the Super Blood. Shout out to Munchie B the Super Blood. In this clip, I don't know how how old it is, but I just recently um came across it. He's doing an interview, and in this interview, Munchie B the gang activist, the um the peace ambassador, you know. Reputable, respected, infamous um, Inglewood family gangster blood self submits and puts himself at the scene of an ongoing homicide investigation. Not only does he self admits that he was there, he also self admits that he kicked the um, the deceased individual when the deceased individual was, you know, on the ground bleeding out as a as a result of being stabbed, I believe, multiple times. He passed. I, I mean, I, I kicked him while he was down, literally. You know what I'm saying? And took shots at him. And now, how his people feel? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, and it's crazy because, um, even as a kid, I have always been told if you let a person talk long enough, they reveal everything that they is and everything that they is not. See, when when these gang interventions and peace ambassadors get on get online and they start, you know, confessing these type of things, it gives community intervention a bad name and a bad rep. This is a guy who prides himself on writing reports about... Paid to be from Inglewood family. I get paid to be from my All right, bro, but how do you get paid to be from the hood? Look, I could clock in and be like, uh, I went to the West Boulevards and... I <laughs> and they, the, the little homies down towards the Welly Boulevards, I had to settle a dispute, and, and boom, I'm going to talk and do that. Huh? What, what are you minute. talking about, bro? <laughs> but, but see, you got niggas like Winnie 100, be like, a Blackberry, you can call the police. No, nigga, it's an it's a app. Bro, you, wait, wait, you trying to be on ISG, but I asked you where that information goes, you said you didn't know? You didn't say that? Well, hold on, with the Prolocity app? that reflects badly upon the individuals in those communities who are actively doing something to squash these beefs in these communities where we have been beefing for upwards of 30 years and then you also have to look at it from this perspective when I was a kid I was um, chilling in the Pure Quest housing projects right we had just got into it with some guys um, one of the homies and you gotta understand this is in 2002 where we are like I was a lot well obviously I was a lot younger I'm younger so one of the younger homies in our generation that just came upon an AK-47, we had just got into us, got into us, some guys at 120th Shopping Center. So we telling the homie, like, you know, let us use the chopper, let us use the K, blase, blase, all this. So he's like, all right, cuz, I'm gonna go get the chopper, I'm gonna load it up, I'm gonna bring it back, and, and y'all go do y'all stuff. We didn't get around get to going to go do our stuff because the homie took forever, you know, coming back with the chopper. So we got on. Shortly after we get on, um, some type of shooting that transpired, right? 
I get arrested for a robbery case that I had nothing to do with. You know what I mean? I'm going to always maintain my innocence because I didn't do that shit, right? I get to the station um, and corrupt and wicked officer by the name of Wally McMahon. He comes in there and he's telling me how he can let me go and how he does deals and acts about him. He gets my you know, get individuals out, this, this, that, and third. And um, he brings up a situation about um, how somebody was unalive. And my name had came up as being one of the individuals who was in the circle bit that was in the group around the time that this unaliving had happened. I knew I had good enough sense to deny me being in that vicinity, being in close proximity, any of that. No. Because if I put myself at the scene of the crime, then I can, um, you know, be targeted. They can say I'm on, uh, what is the word that they that they um, use for not snitching, obstructing a criminal investigation or this, this, that, and third. Then they could try to hit you with an accessory after the fact. So for this cat, and I'm going to tell you what can potentially go in his favor because, you know, being that he went on there and he admitted, self-admitted that he kicked the person who was deceased body when the person was you know clinging on to life that he went up to him and kicked him in his head they can try to hit him with accessory after the fact but what can go in his defense is him saying i'm blind i can't see nothing i don't know i don't know who did what i don't know who did nothing but then they can also rebuttal they can counter and say well how did you know where the person was laying at who directed you and guided you to the body so you know him coming out in 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 and revealing that shocking that shocking news man i feel like that it was asinine it was foolish and it was stupid it's either this cat is extremely stupid or he's a snitch because who comes out and admits something of that that nature you feel you feel what i'm saying who comes out and say yeah you know when this person was was unalived i walked up to him and i kicked him in the head who does that if you out here unalive and catch, you don't want to associate yourself with anything that can be linked back to that unalive and anything, you know, matter what position, what part you played in that. You feel what I'm saying? You do not want to put yourself in a position to where you can be linked back to that. So if the police do go and question him about this um, ongoing investigation, um, it can be it can it can be bad, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, well, why would you do that? Why that couldn't have been something that you just kept to you and your posse? Why do you feel like you have to go on a show and say, yeah, you know, when when this happened, to Wooty woo you know, I walked up to him and I kicked him in the head or I kicked, kicked him in the face. Like, what do you what were you what was your goal? Like, what what were you thinking that you can gain by putting out that type of information? I don't see no type of gain. I don't see how I can benefit you. See, a lot of these cats, man, they come on and they be so so captivated with with the limelight and whatnot to where they just start saying anything to make content to go viral have these viral moments have these viral clips and whatnot and then they find themselves in a situation like keefe d if the police hasn't already gone and spoken to this cat they're coming to speak to him soon and you know this dude either has to be stupid or he has to be a snitch to to, to you know to put out that type of information about him kicking a person that was recently unalive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand the uh, the benefit in that. You know, making that type of revelation. I don't. I don't see the. I don't see the sense in it. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm about to get up off this thing, man. You feel me? Stay tuned. You know what I mean? I'll be dropping some more content, man. Y'all step and be blessed. You should play upon the Bobby Double J. I'm gone.